guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the new cards that will possibly be released in Episode 4. This information is based on what's released as part of Episode 4 in the China server. There's no official patch note yet but this might give us an idea on what's coming and what cards we should save up for for crafting. We'll cover cards that can be crafted from King Pouring as well as cards that can be obtained from the new field monsters. We'll further organize them per type, whether it's a weapon card, offhand card, and so on, so you may easily choose which one to prioritize per category. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First, let's start with the cards that can be crafted from King Pouring. First, we have the Light Fairy card. This is a weapon card which allows the priest skill Magnus Exorcismus to have no blue gem cost. This card was actually part of Episode 3 release in China server, but we're expecting that this will finally be available in the Sea and Global servers on Episode 4. This card will be very useful for priests as they will be able to efficiently use Magnus Exorcismus for farming without having to worry about the blue gem cost. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Muna card, Skeleton card, Wraith card, Bowen card, and Carrot card. Next, we have three offhand cards. The Enchant Deadly Poison card will be useful for the Guillotine Cross third job since they can apply the new poison effect on enemies without the need to consume new poison bottles. This new poison effect is different from the normal poison effect wherein it can now kill opponents and cannot be cured by Panacea. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Argiope card, Poison Spore card, Mark card, Thief Bug card, and 200 gram dust. Next, another offhand card is a Telepathy Amplification card. This will give plus 20% ghost attack for 5 seconds using the White Imprison skill. This new card will be useful for Warlocks as a White Imprison skill immobilizes enemies and makes them only take damage from ghost property attacks such as Soul Expansion and Napalm Vulcan. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Marionette card, Familiar card, Rideward card, Willow card, and 200 gram dust. Next, the third offhand card is a Water Monster card. This will give less 5% water damage taken and additional 10% damage to fire monsters. Since some of the new mobs that will be coming in Episode 4 are a fire element, this card will be helpful when grinding. If you want to know what are new monsters that will appear in the Lava Cave, I'll have a video link down below. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Vadan card, Horum card, Greatest General card, and 80 gram dust. Next, we have two armor cards. The Leader's Demeanor card increases attack for the whole party by 8% using Lord's Aura. When deposited, the Lord's Aura effect increases the attack of the whole party by 2% with the Leader's Demeanor card equipped. In Episode 4, this will replace the Archer Skeleton Star card in the armor of the Knight class due to the higher attack power it gives. The ingredients for crafting this card are the Orc Wire card, Kalit Sprick card, Big Fort card, and 800 gram dust. Another armor card is a Golem Star card which gives plus 8% damage reduction and additional 500 max HP. The ingredients for crafting this card are 5 Golem card and 300 gram dust. Up next, we have two headwear cards. First up, the Andre Star card gives plus 3% penetration and plus 3% ignore death and strength or dex reach 225. Notably, it also gives a deposit reward of plus 12 magic attack. This headwear card is probably the best in slot for physical damage dealers such as Whitesmiths and Lord Knights, as this will let them deal higher damage as compared when using other headwear cards. Even ADL snipers and Adji Crit Lord Knights will benefit from this card as penetration will still significantly increase crit damage. Anticipation for this new card in Episode 4 is the main reason why the Andre card's price is getting higher. The ingredients for crafting this card are 10 Andre card and 600 gram dust. Next, the Yo-Yo Star card gives plus 3 Agi and plus 3 crit. This can be a cheaper alternative to the Andre Star card for critical type builds. The ingredients for crafting this card are free yo-yo card and 150 gram dust. Next, we have two shoe cards. The Marionette Star card gives less 10% ghost damage taken and plus 5% ghost attack. If you're a warlock planning to use white imprisonment plus soul expansion combo in PvP, then this card together with the telepathy amplification card placed in your offhand will further increase your damage output. 
The ingredients for crafting this card are 5 marionette card and 200 gram dust. Next, we have the familiar star card. This gives plus 3% magic attack and plus 20 magic attack. The deposit reward is plus 12 attack. This is another good foot gear card for warlocks due to the plus 3% magic attack it gives. This will replace the gear card and black witch star card as the best slot card for shoes. The ingredients for crafting this card are 10 familiar card and 600 gram dust. Lastly, for the king pouring cards, we have the garment card Muka Star card. This will give plus 8% magic reduction and 200 max SP. The ingredients for crafting this card are 5 Muka card and 300 gram dust. Next, we have the set of field cards that can be obtained from the new monsters in the new maps. To know more about the new city Juno and the new maps, I have the preview video linked down below. First up, we have 4 headwear cards. The Martin card obtained for the Marmot will give plus 10 death and plus 10% damage to dark monsters. This will be useful when riding dark element monsters like the Zipper Bear and Fairy Deveruchi. Next, the Fire Fledgling card reduces a bottle grenade cost by one of the improved acid demonstration and fire expansion skills. This card is definitely needed by creators and geneticists to reduce the cost of improved acid demonstration and fire expansion. Take note though that you will still need acid bottles for improved acid demonstration. Next, the Fairy Deferuchi card gives plus 3 vit and immunity to burning status. This is a suitable woe and PvP card for paladins and royal guards since the burning status cannot be healed by panacea. Next, we have the MVP card Archangeling which gives plus 10% max HP. The deposit effect is that it restores 1% of the max HP and SP every 2 seconds with the Archangeling card equipped. Because of the region effect, this boss card can be really useful for tanks. However, you would need 2 of this card to trigger the deposit effect. Next, we have 2 armor cards. First up, the Geographer card gives plus 20% damage reduction against demon and undead when the wearer is under the Accolade class. This is a good defensive card for champions and priests when farming demon and undead monsters. Next, the Fire Elf card gives less 15% fire damage taken and plus 10% damage for the skill Dragon Breath. Aside from the Leader's Demeanor card, this is also a good armor card for Rune Knights because of the bonus effect on the Dragon's Breath skill. Next for the Garment, we have the Harpy card. This will give less 8% neutral damage taken and plus 10% damage for the skill Soul Expansion. Aside from Telepathy Amplification card in your offhand and Marionette Star card in your footgear, this card will also be advantageous when using Warlock's White Imprisonment plus Soul Expansion combo in PvP. For the offhand, we have the Highland Parasite card. This will give less 0.5 seconds cast delay for the Soul Breaker skill. Assassin Cross Adventurers will definitely benefit from this card when farming using Soul Breaker. For the shoes, we have the Fairy Main card, which gives plus 3% movement speed and plus 2 agility. For the accessory, we have the Mini Boss Fire Witch card. This will give plus 20 magic attack and plus 4% ignore M death. This Mini Boss card can be a good alternative to the Zipper Bear Star card for the Wizard class. Lastly, for the weapon, we have the MVP Fire Lord Kaho card. This will give plus 20% damage to earth monsters and plus 10% fire damage. The deposit is an additional 1% fire damage. This boss card can enhance the damage of fire element attacks like Meteor Storm and Magnum Break. Alright, so far we discussed all the upcoming cards that will be released in Episode 4. We've touched on cards that can be crafted through King Pouring as well as the cards that can be obtained from the field. Just know that the exact names may be translated differently once the patch is released in the sea and global servers. However, all the stats, crafting recipe, and effects will most likely be the same. Comment down below if you're already getting ready and excited for episode 4. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.